I wanted to share with you the following uh, very interesting uh, sort of story about uh, some major scientific predictions and some major scientific theories that went wrong. One of the difficult things about being a scientist, such as you or I or people we work with, is that um, we do rely on the existing conventional wisdom, and sometimes that's lacking, um, you know, something. And so when we design uh, scientific um, models and, and uh, predictions especially, um, we, we sometimes don't know everything there is to know and we get it wrong. And it, it's very good to admit that as scientists. We never ever want to say, well, I'm right, no one else is, is correct, and that's, that's the end of the story. As scientists, we always want to be challenged. We always want um, to have to prove that our conclusions and our methodology is correct. So just remember that. It's a good lesson. Um, and that's also true of policymakers. I mean, a policymaker who thinks that they know the truth and know everything uh, and will not accept input that, you know, might give them useful information to think about alternatives, especially when you're going to launch major programs, is not a very good policymaker. Take a look at, uh, at the, 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 these uh, scientific um, wisdoms which turned out to be wrong um, and how we discovered that they were wrong and uh, I hope it'll it'll help give you at least it'll amuse you at least and also give you some insights into uh, how to use this for coastal zone management coastal policy um, projections into the future um, based on what we know now so um, ho hope you hope you enjoy this take care have a productive day